Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy, Mike Show Guapo, man. Street Certified News, and we back with another one. So today, man, just want to drop another quick update on the Oblock 6 slash FBG Duck Trial. Some bloggers came out late, late last night and had dropped some information that was semi-true. Um, but we had did our due diligence. We looked into it, and we're here to report to you guys that um although he did not testify yesterday like some people are saying uh the dude oblock little dave um some people call him you know uh bd dave or oblock little dave otf little dave um he was in court yesterday so reports came out that he had testified well actually is today so you know we're here to report man the dude oblock little dave is testifying today against uh oblock um, I believe he'll be testifying on the inner workings of the gang and they're really using the dude Oblock Lil Dave as one of the witnesses to prove the Rico. Man, looking back into our older cases and our older stories, um, there's a chance that Oblock Lil Dave is cooperator number two. You know, when you look at cooperator number two, you know, we had previously reported that it was the boy Lowe's Mana. We still stand by that. You know, we dropped a recording uh, of, a, of his actual court date uh, in that video where, you know, the judge and different prosecutors, you hear him speaking about him making statements and, and basically cooperating with the investigation. Um, we do just got to go ahead and put that out there that the dude Oblock Lil Dave um, reports are that he was caught with a firearm uh, as a convicted felon. And in order to avoid that 10 year sentence, you know, that mandatory 10 year sentence that the feds would give you, you know, he went ahead and, and, and gave them some information. He was also compensated for his information. So very similar to the dude Trenches News, who, who we going to get into a little later. He was compensated for his information. We believe today, Oblock Lil Dave will be taking the stand and testifying on the inner workings of Oblock uh, in, in that game. We do want to uh, give y'all some background information on the dude Oblock Lil Dave. Um, he was not originally from Oblock. He was originally, you know, from Minnesota. We believe he came to Oblock maybe sometime after high school. So he did not spend a, a great amount of time at Oblock. He does not have a lot of, you know, familial Oblock ties, but he did live there and he caught his gun case and it looked like the feds is going to use him. We've also been told that the information he's going to give is, is somewhat generic. I'm sure he will, you know, cooperate and, 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 and uh, agree with what the feds are saying. You know, that's his job is the whatever the feds want him to say, he say it. But we're, we're also hearing that there may be a chance that he'll provide information on Lil Durk and Chief Keith um, as possibly supplying guns and drugs to Oblock, you know, when they first got on. Again, I, I feel like personally, that's very generic information. Um, that maybe any person that lived in Chicago around that time would maybe say whether they knew it for a fact or not. It may just be some easy information that he could provide so that he could get up out his gun charge for people that's been in tune with this case and just in tune with the whole drill culture, man. The dude, Oblock Lil Dave, nobody really knew about him like that. He was not a prominent figure. You know, he was a dude from Minnesota. He moved to Chicago. You know, he lived at Oblock. And he caught on to something what was going on it seemed like he caught his own case on the side and now you know he's deciding to help the government so that he can help himself and a lot of blogs reported that he had testified yesterday and that he was also going to testify today all report is that he was in court yesterday but actually he will be taking the stand for the first time today which i believe is like wednesday or something like that so today is wednesday morning he's going to be taking the stand today getting back to the boy trenches news man hey all this stuff about trenches news man we dropped this shit like two three months ago for y'all you know what i mean like i said we really do our due diligence on some street shit to bring y'all like the closest information that the people outside in the streets is saying man shout out to everybody who be you know checking with me when they when they see me outside man we really be outside with this shit so the information we getting is not from the internet you know what i mean we not checking pacer for for um new filings we don't do that shit you see what i'm saying i know some people some blogs do that no offense to them man we all sad with it you see what i'm saying man shout out to sun times man they called him out this time they didn't just call him nw they didn't just say marcus wiley they said trenches news 
and you know the 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 story was that hey man the fbi star witness is a mass wearing youtuber so that was pretty clear we all know you know what i'm saying who who that is um also man shout out my boy truth man but uh i believe once all of this news broke again you know he was paid twenty five thousand in total um he also cooperated on two other previous cases even before the oblock case so once all this stuff came out man you know uh it's been reported by uh truth teller tv man that the boy trenches news is considering going into witness protection um he feels that all these articles and all of this press covering him being the cooperator it put him at danger and put his family at danger I, I personally agree it's crazy that a dude would sell his soul for twenty five thousand, man like that's not a lot of bread not that i would sell my soul for any amount but it just goes to show you man that these guys are are, are struggling you know they starving and when something like this come man they gotta take it man but trenches news probably never seen twenty five thousand before that now i know he's seen it since you know what i mean because i know he has a popular youtube channel so i'm pretty sure he's seen it since but up until that time he probably had never even seen twenty five thousand at one time man so we just is we just uh letting y'all know man we saw the story uh, we not gonna make no big video on it we reported on that a couple months ago man the dude trenches news is a snitch um now it was new information that he did cooperate going back 10 years on like two other cases so you know when he sat down with me and talked and said oh man it was because of kenny mack and all the feds came bro you've been talking to the people man so that's that's neither here nor there man but hey it's your boy mrxl guapo man we really wanted to give y'all this update on the dude otf Lil dave um, we also wanted to, you know what I'm saying, give y'all a little bit of information on the shit with Trenches News. Be looking out for more videos, man, more docs. We working on a nice little doc right now. But we wanted to definitely, you know, give y'all this update because, you know, we're reporting that the dude OTF Lil Dave, uh, Oblock Lil Dave, he will be taking a stand today. And it is a chance that, um, you know, going back, when we were looking at all of the cooperators, it's a chance that the boy is cooperated number two. Um, you know, we just gonna come out there and say it, man. We're gonna be transparent, man. Uh, so hey, it's your boy Eric Shell Guapo, man. Street certified news, man. The most reputable source for urban media, man. Hit that like, comment, subscribe, man. Make sure you follow us. All the news, all the docs, man. Hey, we out.